friends, new characters, funny lines, and loads and loads more cock ups. So, guys, it's important to be in touch. Days, no! <laughs> Tonight we'll be in rehearsal, on set, and crawling all over the cutting room floor to bring you the funniest outtakes on television. That's it! <laughs> it will be rude, crude, sorry your pole's right in the way, <laughs> and occasionally nude. Shit, I've got to go! Those of you with a sensitive disposition should turn away now. I was too worried that I'd show me knob again. Pints has a long and proud history of screwing things up. You fuck. <laughs> I'd be surprised by the birth. I've heard the words involuntary anal expulsion mentioned. <laughs> Come on, yeah. And on the new series, nothing has changed. Ah, hi. Donna Wilkinson, Nay Henshaw. Yes. <laughs> I'm afraid it's your grandma. She's, um, she's dead. What? She, uh, she got hit by a bakery van. I wanted to tell you before you saw it on the local news. They're going with the headline, Nan, slam, by man in flan van. What? <laughs> It's been an eventful year in Two Pints Land with life-changing events for all the Runcorn regulars. There you are, love. New partners, new babies and new jobs have given the cast plenty to think about. <laughs> Donna had moved to London. She had an exciting new job in that London. And everything was cool and I was very happy with my new life. Morning, Miss Henshaw. Oh, fuck, I nearly fell over. Sorry. <laughs> When Donna returned to Runcorn, she found Gaz and Janet very much an item. For the cast, this meant some interesting new dynamics on set. Doing scenes with Will is great and we have a lot of fun, but he is naughty, so it's quite difficult to keep a straight face with him. Gaz, I think we should talk this through. We won't have time before Ball Churley gets here. Ball Churley is not looking... I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Bald! Seeing sorry. Will and Sheridan together doing their scenes was not was quite normal to me but i think probably for natalie it was a bit weird i think at first i found it a bit strange but i think that it's a natural progression that janet and gaz would get together because they are very very similar <laughs> oh oh god we just did it again didn't we yeah, pretty much, yeah. Now that's it, I need to leave. We obviously can't be trusted. Oh, fuck off, bollocks. <laughs> it's really strange being uh, kind of having snogging scenes with Will, because he's like a brother. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it was a bit like kissing your sister, in a way. Not too much, because I did get a little twinge once. It may have seemed weird for the cast, but maybe writer Susan Nixon was just reflecting some of their off-screen antics. The actors do act uh, provocatively with each other. <laughs> a percentage of groping and dry humping, which I think is a high percentage than, say, if you worked in an accountancy firm. <laughs> what did you do at work today? They just can't keep their hands off each other. I don't know what it is. I think probably the end of the week and they're just a bit randy. <laughs> <laughs> Am I doing that to Lens? Oh, there. <laughs> it sounds like some mad orgies going on. That sounds really bad, doesn't it? Oh, no, it sounds so wrong. You can't put that on. <laughs> you're getting it, you're getting it, you're getting it. I don't know what it is. I don't, I, I don't want to just say it's because of the character I play, because he's very similar to me. So, <laughs> we're giving it away. They may seem like a randy pair, but it's all strictly platonic. Will and Sheridan in real life are, you know, best mates, so they can be very tactile together. It's, there's no real sexual chemistry there at all. What the actors do on set would count as a criminal offence <laughs> to each other, but they all like it. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! yeah! <laughs> cut, cut, cut. Thrown into this heady mix this year was newcomer Wesley, the show's very first cockney. Donna! Oh! 
Wesley Presley. What a name, eh? Wesley's uh, a cockney geezer. Gather around, cos everything's a pound! He's Donna's boyfriend, and he's a bit of a city type, so uh, the gang don't really get on with him at first. This is Wesley, he's my boyfriend, he's from London. And I've got an iPhone. <laughs> I don't think Gaz knows what an iPhone is, no. You must be the ex-husband. I imagined you'd be taller. <laughs> Little bastard. Joining the cast of Two Pints can be quite daunting, and Thomas didn't realise he was going to feature quite so much. I went there to, uh, to read um, for this character, Wesley, and it was only a couple of pages. The writers were saying that they weren't sure whether they are going to kind of use, use the character, but, you know, see how it went. You must be Janet. Oh, no more birds. They always smell like gravy. <laughs> <laughs> I ran out of bath bombs, so I improvised with an oxygen The part had me cast. And then when Thomas came in, he was reading all the small parts for the entire series. Um, we just, as writers, we just went, he's, he's great. Oh, I ate your bath, we took, <laughs> oh, so cute. He <laughs> 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 was hilarious. And we were saying, he's got to play Wesley, he's got to. And Susan Sop must have agreed. Come on, Donna, I think I've seen enough talentless inbreds for one day. God, this place is so depressing. <laughs> we wrote a whole storyline around around him, just because it's nice to, to take a chance on someone. Well, if that's how you feel, I'll go. But don't think you'll get another chance with Wesley Presley. <laughs> <laughs> Having secured the part, Thomas's first night didn't go quite as well as his audition. <laughs> So what, do you think a wrong call so far, Wesley? Uh, it's rank. Yeah, I imagine I, I can see what... Well, it's like, it's what? It's me, but it's a pest. Have one of these, cheers, yes. thanks. I've made up my mind. I'm moving back to Roncorn. <gasps> <laughs> I've made up my mind. I'm moving back to Roncorn. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Thomas is the new kid on the block this series, but last year it was Luke Gell, and he soon struck up a comedy partnership with Natalie Casey. I just thought you'd be a happier individual if you confront who you really are, and you are a gay man. I am not gay. How many times do I have to tell you? I love it. It's like EastEnders. Do, 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 do. Donna and Tim's relationship is um, a love-hate relationship. Uh, you can't live with him. Can't kill him. Tim? Oh, he's not there. Tim, what about <laughs> The relationship between Tim and Donna is quite similar to me and Natalie. Not that we don't get on, because we always get on, but we are both quite blunt and honest with each other. <laughs> was it him? Was it you? Was it me? Fuck's sake, Luke. We'll be sat in the gallery and we'll be watching them very, very closely and go, right, they're going to go, they're going to go, right, they're gone, great. OK, reset, and that'll be them then. Take after take, they just can't get it together, they're giggling. Death, the There'll just be a glint in Natalie's eye and it'll set Luke off, or vice versa. I'm not going to look, I won't look at you. Please don't make me laugh. Stop making me laugh. Even when you're not doing anything. <laughs> oh, was doing my angry face. That's my angry face. Right. Natalie is the one that turns to the audience and blames me. So I'm sorry, I, she was... Is she? You were twitching. Oh, was that was my angry face? And I'm like, no, it was you and your big hair. I've not been bad all night. You are now. Right. It's an almost constant thing that you, you sort of know that they will set each other off, so much so that we might stop writing them scenes together. Tim and Wesley are the newest members of the cast, but this year we said goodbye to an old favourite, Gaz's half-brother, Munch. He's a great character because he was so stupid and dumb that you, that you could do lots of different things with it. I like monkey bowlers. <laughs> and it was hilarious because you, you would believe this character would do that. No, that's horse bowlers. No, it's, it's horse racing. No, motorbike racing. No, no, hang on. It is. It is monkey bowlers. <laughs> Actor Lee Oaks was perfect for the role of Munch, which is a backhanded compliment, if ever I heard one. Lee's very high strong. He's one of these people expiring on all cylinders all the time. It's rare that you meet people like that. 
comes naturally. <laughs> <laughs> he just doesn't keep still. What did my dad used to say? It used to be like, it used to be like a fart in a box. I don't know what that means, but... Lee used to um, really go to extremes to make it as gross as he could, to really kind of freak people out and gross us out. <laughs> Things that weren't even in the script. Characters may come and go, but some things in Two Pints stay the same. It's still a hotbed for outtakes. Sorry, that's my line. Completely forgot what I was going to say. <laughs>